The Valentine's Day Forzathon shop is gone. Hopefully everybody got their Ford Focus pre-order car. But in case you haven't heard, the Series 19 Festival playlist is here. And the first thing you need to do is unlock the first Lexus in this game, the Lexus LFA. It is the 50% summer completion reward from February 13th until February 20th, 2020. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the most proficient way that anyone can unlock this car, even if you don't have Xbox Live. I know a ton of people hate doing the online adventure, seasonal playground games, and even the trial. That's people who have Xbox Live. I can only imagine how it feels if you don't even have the ability to complete those things. It is possible though to get 50% completion, and you really do not want to miss the Lexus LFA. It is an incredible car in Forza Horizon 4. The first part of the festival playlist that I'm going to show you do need Xbox Live 4. Don't worry people who don't have Xbox Live, we're going to get to the other 50%, but this is for an extra 6% or a different 6% that people can do because Monthly Rivals is very super easy and quick. I know to some people it's confusing, some people probably don't realize how simplistic it is to complete this. Literally all you have to do is run a clean lap time. Don't crash, don't get your lap time flagged. It's not about running a fast time. And this series, it actually also happens to be your chance to drive the LEGO Chiron, which is only available in the LEGO DLC otherwise. Once you run a clean time, once you finish a clean lap, that's it, you're done. Get out of there, go check your festival playlist and it should be golded off. After that, the next quickest things, and this is stuff now that everybody can do, even without Xbox Live, the seasonal PR stunts. I started off with the Bamberg Castle Danger Sign. This is worth 6%. First thing you want to do is grab my Mossler Tune. This is a car that is super cheap and everybody can get, but it's one of the best cars in the game. Once you get to the Bamberg Danger Sign, you want to clear all the debris out of the way because this will slow you down a lot. You then want to start pretty far back like I did. You have to have throttle control over the first few sections because it's very bumpy. Have rewind on just in case. And then once you get closer to the danger sign on the flat ground, just hit it full throttle and you should destroy it. After that, we're going to head over to the Speed Trap Combe, and you really want to start to the west side of it. I feel like it's a little bit better. We can use the Mossler Tune for all three of the PR stunts. This Speed Trap will be worth 7%. I do recommend if you have Xbox Live to go online and play in Horizon Life, because there is so much traffic in this area for some reason. It took me one try for the kind of difficult danger sign. It took me about seven for a simple speed trap because of traffic. I could not believe it. So if you have it, go online. If not, just deal with it in solo, have rewind on, but the Mossler will kill this speed trap. Then for another 7%, we're gonna go over to the speed zone forest green, or once again in the Mossler. Once you get into the speed zone, the traffic and the drive -atars will ghost, so you don't have to worry about them, and the Mossler will destroy this speed zone. At this point I realized I almost accidentally completed the Daily Forzathon challenge. Every Daily Forzathon challenge is worth 1%. Threading the needle skills, you just need to be in a pretty quick car and you want to split traffic. There should be a car on your left, a car on your right, and you basically need two rapid near miss skills. I always go to the highway or a straightaway, run right up the middle of the road and eventually you'll get these done. It shouldn't take long at all. Next up, this is a little bit more time consuming, but it gives you the most percentage. 15% for the Forzathon Weekly. Not a bad one this week, we get to use modern supercars. Biggest thing is to remember to do the chapters in order, 
one, two, three, four. You want to filter your map for the street scene events and the speed zones. That's what we're going to have to be looking for. In case you didn't know, street scene events are unlocked after you do head-to-head -head races against Drivatars and Free Roam. Basically, just drive up behind the Drivatars, challenge them, beat them, and street scene races will start to unlock. You can pick any street scene race you want. You can even do the same one three times. Difficulty does not matter. Put it on new racer if you want. Just always watch out for traffic. Street scene can be tricky with that. My Audi R8 tune from Tuning Tuesday is now officially shared and it does destroy unbeatable Drivatars but I highly recommend going with an easier difficulty. Chapter 3 is then to get 15 stars from speed zones. If you run it 5 times and get 3 stars each time that is the goal, that's the quickest way. If you're not too great at driving through speed zones it doesn't matter, just get 1 star every time, do it 15 times, just get it done. Doesn't have to be pretty. I always love going to the bridge house speed zone. But if you have another one that you like better, it really doesn't matter. You can also switch cars. The faster the car, the easier it'll be. I can get this done with the Audi R8, but it might not work well for everybody. As always, rewinds can really be a savior. Finally, for Chapter 4, we have to get 20 awesome speed skills. The faster the car, the faster this gets done. Highways or straightaways are perfect for this. You have to be going over 175 miles per hour, and the awesome speed skills will keep on popping. Once you get that done, that will be 15% for the festival playlist and you will be well on your way to the Lexus LFA. Now we're going to have to move over to the Summer Seasonal Championships. Honestly, you can do any of these three that you want to. You're going to have to do two of them. For 7%, I first did So Last Decade. The 2010s are outdated now. Make sure you're not on the normal event. Also make sure you have highly skilled difficulty and rewind on. The restrictions for this are 2010s, S2998. Each championship will have three races. You don't have to win every single race, but you have to win the championship, which means having the most points by the end of it. So the higher you place, the more points you get, and you have to win the championship for this to count. My Lamborghini Centenario tune is shared. Love it, it's a beast of a car. And once you beat this, you'll also unlock the Rassian Q1, which is really cool. Basically killing two birds with one stone. The next championship I chose to do was the Muscle Bound. This is another 7%. The restrictions are B-Class Classic Muscle. I went with my 1969 Mustang. My tune is shared. You don't unlock this car unless you get to level 10 for Drift Club. It's about 1.5 million at the auction house. So if you don't have this car, you can pick any of the other Classic Muscle cars. Just all will drive swap them. Have Rewind on, highly skilled difficulty. It should be a breeze because all these cars are real wheel drive. Same scenario though, just have the most points at the end of the championship to win. And then you'll also unlock the Buick GSX, which is pretty cool. Now if you have Xbox Live and did monthly rivals, you're already going to be over 50%. If not, you're going to need one more percent. So to get that one percent, you're going to have to do the daily challenge, which the one that came out today is four stars in total from Drift Zones. Now some people might watch this video later, there might be other daily Forzathon challenges unlocked. One releases each day of the seven days of the season. Doesn't really matter which you do and you'll be able to get a little bit over 50%. I didn't realize until making this video that people without Xbox Live cannot even hit 60% on the festival playlist, but now I know. Get out there in your favorite Drift car, go pick your favorite Drift Zone and get those four stars in total. You can get two and two, you can get one, 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 doesn't matter how bad you are at drifting, just get it done. Get sideways to finish it off and then you can grab that Lexus LFA. What a beautiful car, what an amazing sounding car. I really don't want anybody to miss this thing so hopefully this video is going to help everybody out. Hopefully you're all going to find it to be helpful or useful in one way or another. If you still have any questions at all, please just let me know in the comment section. If you miss this thing, who knows when it's going to come back. It's tough to get it at the auction house. The new cars always are. And this is the first Lexus in Forza Horizon 4. you got to get this thing. Do not miss it, people. Again, really hope that this helps everyone out. Don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comment section. I'm always here to help you guys out. As always, though, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Enjoy that Lexus LFA. Peace, guys.